Hi kids, we're going to be using Play-Doh today to create a few outfits for Barbie. For this design that I'm making today, or for the dress that I'm making today, I'm going to use this Play-Doh box. And so, here it is. I'm going to take my pink out. I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and take it out. And I'm going to use about half of it for my top. So a little bit more than a half. I'm going to mold it in my hands and just play with it until it gets soft and flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my roller to roll it. Just like this. So I want to have a nice flat piece. I'm pretty thin, you don't want it to be too thick for your top because you want it to be like a material, pretty realistic. So I'm, I keep rolling here and there you have it, I have my flat piece. Then then I will use this knife that I have here, it's a plastic knife to cut. This is going to be a really, really fun top. It's going to be a spaghetti strap top. So I'm just going to cut out the two pieces for my strap. Just like this. And then I'm going to show you here. So what I did is I cut out, cut along here. And I'm going to remove these pieces like this and that's going to wrap very nicely around Barbie and it's going to be her top so let me show you that this is really simple kids you can do this as, at home as well all I did was cut this H shape up at the top and um, just worked with it by pulling out the pieces and you can really make it look really super nice. So here it is. And then at the back, what I can do is, after moving the hair out of the way, I'm going to actually mold it over her body to create. So let's move her hair out of the way. We're going to lift her arms, just wrap the back of it like this. And then lift her arm over here. So here is the front of the top. This is really simple kids, you can do this as, at home as well. All I did was cut this H shape up at the top and um, just worked with it by pulling out the pieces and you can really make so it. So here it is, I cut it out and what I did this time I just rolled a longer sheet of Play-Doh and I folded it in half and then I just cut what I showed you before, these, this H at the top. I cut it and then I opened the two pieces so it looks like I have the front and the back of the top. And what I also did is I also cut a V shape at the bottom so it has a nice um, a nice shape to the tank top. So let's go ahead and put it on Barbie right now. So we're going to go ahead and dress her up. We're going to line it up like this and wrap it around her. And let's see how this works out. Just like this, we're going to mold it and move her hair out of the way. So it looks really super, but you really have to flatten it out on her body. And there you have it. You know, I need to fix the cracks a little bit. And just flatten it out.
What I'm basically doing is just molding it to her body. Like this. And here's her top, it's really pretty. But it does need a bottom, so here I'm gonna fix these pieces that are kind of showing a seam here. So here is the top that I made and I actually added a necklace here to enhance the top. It's a sort of like a tank top, but we're going to make it into a dressy outfit. And what I did is I actually used my knife to go ahead and trim along the edges here to make it um, to make it straight. And here, as you can see, I left a couple pieces that still needed to be trimmed. So you can see what I'm doing. And then here, you can just take your hand and mold the rest of the pieces together that are not seamed or that are not together like this and just finish her top. And next we're going to work on her bottom and I'm going to make a, um, a skirt at the bottom and it's going to be a green skirt that will match her pink top. So let's go ahead and take out our Play-Doh and roll it out. We'll set Barbie down here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove my green Play-Doh that I have here in my box and I'm going to take the top off and I'm going to roll it first to make it into a long flowy skirt. Now these are some popping colors which are very in today and you know well we can match it with some of the shoes that we have in our closet. So I'm going to go ahead and take the play-doh out and then roll this Play-Doh into a flat sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and roll my Play-Doh into a flat sheet, just like this. So you have to roll a lot. You have to make it really flat. Otherwise it's going to be too thick and it's not going to mold so smoothly. So roll hard. I have to press a little bit. So I kind of want my skirt to be a longer skirt rather than a shorter because I want it to be an evening skirt. So I probably have, let's see, I probably need only this much here so I can cut some at the top and on the sides. Just add a little bit more to the length of the skirt, which is going to be this way, and then keep it rolling so I can make it pretty long. Just like this. This is really fun to do. You know, you can create any outfit that you really, really want. All you need is some Play-Doh, girls. All right, so let's see what we have. We have still a pretty thick sheet. And here it's not so straight, so I need to keep rolling. Okay, let's see. So this one kind of tore, broke off a little bit, so we're going to fix that. That's why it's so fun working with Play-Doh, even if you're Play-Doh breaks or is not the shape or mold you want, you can always work it and work with your hands and fix the problems. So here it is. Here's the flat sheet that we're going to use. And we're going to use it this way so that it's pretty long. So let's go ahead and try it on Barbie to see how it fits. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to use this tool here to cut a really nice design at the bottom. So as you can see, I'm just rolling it around 
like this. But I have a nice wave at the bottom of my skirt. So let's see how that works out. So here's the flat sheet that I rolled. And notice the details at the bottom that I used um, my cutter, this neat little tool, to just cut the design at the bottom. And you can see it has a little wave. And what I did is I took the flat sheet and just draped it over Barbie. So let's go ahead and mold the rest of the skirt to her body and see what it looks like. So all you have to do is just mold it to her body like this. Carefully so it doesn't break. And then at the end, we're going to have this cute little outfit that you're going to have to um, keep molding until you get the results that you want. So here I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece at the top. I'm gonna take off my mold off the, her body and just cut at the top to have a straight edge. And then keep draping this Play-Doh around her until I have the outfit that I want. So let's see what it looks like. Just like this. And notice the straight edge that I cut, how beautiful it looks now. So I'm going to go ahead and drape, drape it over her body like this. And I think I have a little more than I need. So I'm going to cut the, ex the excess piece, this piece, right off using my knife. And that's okay, you can do that too. If you have extra pieces, no worries. You can just trim them off. And then all I have to do is mold my skirt to her body just as I want to like this and it's going to be really really pretty as you can see here and we're probably going to need to make a belt as well we're going to make a nice belt to tie it all in And see I have some pieces here that I need to, or some holes that I need to cover, which is fine. This is what you can do at home too. So you keep molding and working with it. Just like this, and look how pretty it is already. And I love the two popping colors. So this is a dress, but it's a two-tone dress, which is really, really in right now. And we're going to make a nice wide belt here using a pink Play-Doh. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to set Barbie down here. And then I'm going to work on my belt. So I need some pink Play-Doh. And I, I'm thinking if a thin belt will work or a thicker belt. I'm inclined to think that a thicker belt will work really nicely. So let's make the shape of a belt here. And again, use your roller to roll out a nice flat belt. Just like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. So I want it, let's see, I think I want to make it even more straight. I don't want it curved. I just want a flat belt, plain belt. So I'm going to remove the pieces that I'm not going to use. And here it is. Let's go ahead and drape it around Barbie. Here is the belt that is that I'm wrapping around Barbie to complete my outfit. And I'm just going to go ahead and break off the piece that I don't want. And then I'm going to go ahead and mold that over. And look, what a beautiful dress I've made. I look really, really fabulous. And so, let me show you the complete outfit. Here I am, girls. I'm ready to go to my party. I have my pink and green dress, and I have my silver boots and my purse with me. All ready to go, and I look super, super fabulous. <laughs> 